gray sky saying I don't want to come home tonight. What is up? <clears throat> so today we are doing a riding video on my XR75, just kind of around this little woods track I built. Try to get some riding shots and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to set the camera up and uh, yeah. So that was super strange. Um, the bike just cut out. It won't start back up again. I um, hope I didn't like kill it. I don't see any oil dripping down. And there's a bunch of mud under there, but I don't see any oil. I don't know. I mean, I was riding it pretty hard, but no harder than I would ride it normally. It still has compression. I feel like this is an electric. This is an electrical problem. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna probably add this video into what's wrong with the XR. So I'm gonna get it back to my house and we're gonna work on it. All right, so I got it back. Um, still, again, don't know what's wrong with it. My first guess is kill switch because the kill switch is kind of weirdly wired on this. Uh, it didn't run out of gas. Because you can see there's plenty in there. Uh, leave the gas on. That would be real stupid if it wasn't. Uh, yeah, fuel's on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the seat and tank off and get back because that's kind of all right. So this is kind of my first uh, culprit back here on the bike. This uh, this electrical job here, it's pretty crummy. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking went. I think. It went and now the kill switch is just like grounding it out. Um, or maybe it was touching something else because if I kick it, it still, still doesn't do anything. Um, so I'm going to take this off and kind of get in there more. Alright, so I managed to get that off and you got your three wires wrapped around here. And what I think happened was the points wire became disconnected. So this is to the kill switch, this is points to coil should be. So, let's try that. And I'll, uh, I'll leave the camera rolling. Any of y'all uh, want to hold this? So the kill switch shouldn't matter now. Let's see. And I know the tank isn't on there. I'm just seeing it. Okay, so that didn't do anything. There should be some gas still in the carb, uh, unless the fuel line just clogged up. Let's check out if there's any junk in the airbox, maybe. It's 
Maybe it's the air box. Got clogged. I mean, there's some dirt, a little bit of dirt, but it's mainly just around the edge. Let's see if it starts now. Maybe there is just some crap in the air box. a little bit, get some kicks in. No. Uh, I'm going to check for a spark, because I don't know if it's actually got spark. Alright, so I took the plug out, and uh, what I found is a very black and dry plug. So it looks like it's not getting any gas. Uh, I can't tell, but I'm going to check for spark while I have it out anyway. So we're going to get our, this is going to be fun with one hand. Get our, that, that there. And, so I actually don't see any spark. I can't. I know it has to be grounded, but I, I don't see anything. I wonder if my coil is gone. Maybe? Or, let's see, that's connected. So it should spark when I kick it over. I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit more and then uh, come back, because I can't do this with one hand. Right, so I actually ended up having a plug, the same plug. It's a C7 HSA. Uh, pulled it out of my 110 mini bike. Now we're going to see if we in fact have spark. Uh, and if we don't have spark, it's either the points have gone somehow or the coil is bad. Now that's a fairly new coil, so I'm kind of doubting uh, that being bad. But let's see. This normally has really, really strong spark. Let's see again. I don't see anything. So I'm going to. Uh, mess around with a little bit more jiggle some wires and see all right that. so i got that side cover off on this side and uh the poor little xr is clapped for now the uh i think there's either something the points i just don't feel like pulling the flywheel right now uh, i think there's either something kind of jammed up in the points uh or the coil is bad i'm leaning towards the coil is bad and that's why i've not popped the flywheel off yet uh i think the coil has just roasted itself so I'm going to order a new one and uh, probably do a video of installing that and actually riding it. Uh, so yeah, the XR is beat for now. Uh, I'm going to put it back together, roll it up in the shed. Uh, and yeah, just probably call it off at that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of disappointing for me. Um, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll leave my Instagram in the description if you guys want to kind of follow the personal builds and stuff. So yeah.